Denver has been one of the fastest growing cities in the last few years. Located along the Rocky Mountain Front Range, it is no secret that this Mile High City is surrounded by beautiful scenery. So with that, we are gonna go over a few things you may want to consider if you're thinking about moving to Denver, Colorado. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Linda Barr, your Denver North Realtor. Don't forget, boy mom and MRP certified, which means I am a military relocation professional. So perfect if you are relocating to the great state of Colorado and coming to Denver. I am here to help you with all your real estate needs on top of putting out all this content, making sure that you guys are well prepared for making the move. So as always, I will have all my information linked in the description box below and it will be right here on the screen. As I stated, Denver has been one of the fastest growing cities and it's really not hard to see why. Obviously, I moved here. I am a California-born native who moved to Denver in 2012 and, and obviously, I'm still here. Not only is Colorado full of beautiful scenery to some of the best skiing and mountain climbing in the world. It is also the engine for a booming regional economy with a strong job and income growth in recent years. The first thing I want to talk to you guys about because I feel like not a lot of people put this in their forefront. They're just like, oh, I want to move out to Denver. Well, Denver is surrounded by a plethora of cities, other little outlining things. So you have Denver, then you have Lakewood, you have Aurora, you have Brighton, you have Fort Collins, which is way, way north. You have Castle Rock, which is more south. There is just so many places to choose from. And I think it's important to really consider and think about the choices that you have and choosing a neighborhood wisely. Every neighborhood, every subdivision, Every county, every city has its own vibe and personality and almost like a culture, if you will, of what are you looking for? What are you seeking? This is more for tailoring it to what's gonna best fit around you. Are you ready for that city life? Do you wanna be literally right downstairs from a supermarket? Downtown Denver has a supermarket and above our apartment complexes. Or are you looking for something where it's a little more spaced out? Maybe a little suburb, maybe you have kids. Maybe you're just like, oh, I wanna be just around other families. So I want a little bit of space, but not a lot of space. And still have accessibility to the downtown nightlife. Or maybe you're literally looking for, I want two to three acres on no one in sight. I wanna be able to just do whatever and not see a single person. These are all things that you need to consider when moving. And these are all things that Denver and the outlining areas have to offer. Definitely looking into the right area, the right neighborhood that's gonna best fit your life and what you are looking for is really gonna change your entire experience. Did you know that Colorado has a flat income tax rate? The state's income tax rate is at a 4.55%. Now this may not be ideal if you're coming from a state that had no state income tax, but it can be a good system that might work for you. Another point to bring up is the weather is actually almost too nice. What do I mean by that? So Denver actually houses 300 days of sunshine a year. Yeah, I was shocked too when I moved here. And this ranks it in the top five for the nation. And even though we get over 50 inches of snow a year, this is really due to the big storms that we have and it rarely sticks around long enough to even notice. I was really shocked when we moved here because I was under the impression that I was gonna be snowed in, you know, 10 months out of the year. And that, I mean, coming from California, like I'm used to beaches, I'm used to sunshine. And so when we moved out here, I'm like, um, I don't know about this. <laughs> I'm not really a snow person. I'm really, really not a snow person. So I was like, I'm not excited about being snowed in. And honestly, it has really reminded me of where I came from because it will blizzard, be crazy, and the next day will be sunny. And then all of a sudden a day goes by, two days go by and you're like, we just had a storm. Like what, what, what just happened? <laughs> 
<laughs> so it's been really nice to see that Colorado really does get a lot of sunshine and you do have those crazy things here and there but it literally, you're not snowed in for weeks at a time. You're not snowed in, I mean, where I'm at. And honestly, people that live here, the real complaint is that sometimes the weather is too nice. People are moving here because they're like, oh my gosh, we wanna be snowed in. We wanna be completely engulfed in snow and craziness and ski 10 months out of the year. And then they find out that the weather is actually not that bad. Like we get all of the seasons. You get the winter, summer, fall, spring, but you're not necessarily snowed in. Like if you were back in like South Dakota or some places in Wyoming where you're like, oh, hey, I wish I would've gone to the store because now I can't leave for a month. To piggyback off of that, knowing like, hey, yes, we have 300 days of sunshine. But to me, my thought process was it's not usable. So when I think of sunshine, I'm like, I'm sitting on the beach burning my ass, right? Getting my tan on, we're good. Whereas here, like, it'll be negative 10 outside and there's sun, but to me that's not usable sun, if that makes sense. Because of the high altitude here, we are sitting in Denver, it's at 5280. The sun is literally that much closer to you, which, you know, I, I mean, for me, like, I didn't think about it in that manner. I was like, I'm used to like, bacon on the beach i'm used to getting burnt um denver has a little more has a little <laughs> denver has its own little definition of burnt you can easily get sunburnt walking around for an hour outside because you know denver actually has a lot of outdoor malls which was another shocker to me it's like you're in a snow country why why would you have an indoor like where i'm from there all the malls are indoor we, I never even really heard of an outdoor mall in my area of where I was. So moving out here and knowing like, oh, indoor malls aren't really a thing. It's like, oh really? Cause it's like freezing cold out here. Why would you not have an indoor mall? With that note, just make sure, even if you're used to the sun, if you're a beach bum like me and you're used to it, the California sun is definitely different than the Colorado sun. Another thing to address, it's going to be the altitude. I said it earlier, we're at 5280, which is 5,280 feet above sea level. What does that really mean? The elevation can really take some adjustment. And again, I did not take that into consideration when we moved here, because I didn't really think it was a thing, but it is. The air being that high above sea level is actually a lot thinner than what I would be used to in California. This is where your body is gonna have to take a few days to adjust to it. It's just like jet lag. Like if you fly anywhere, or you travel, like anywhere you travel, it's, you call, have what they call jet lag. So I feel like it was like that kind of adjustment because when we moved here, I was like, oh, okay, it's all great and dandy. And then I was like exhausted. And I know it probably had a factor of playing in that we were moving all of our shit and like coming over here and everything but the, I never factored in that the altitude would take a toll. I'm very active, like I'm used to going outdoors, I'm used to hiking, I'm used to playing tennis, I'm used to doing all the things that I do out there and just taking that all into consideration, like you're at a higher altitude to where I was used to, especially if you have asthma or if you have any health issues that will deter you from going to high places. This is where your body needs to adjust to be taking in lower levels of oxygen because you're at such a high altitude. It's not just about your own, like, hey, activities that I'm doing. You're also wanting to think about your alcohol intake. If you drink alcohol, you also want to think about if you're a big cooker or if you're always cooking like myself, I have run through recipes that I talk about, well, this kind of oven, that kind of oven, or if you're at this altitude and I'm like, I don't even know never really paid attention to that until we moved here to be like oh like this actually takes into effect on a side note if anybody owns a keurig what i've learned is the keurigs actually don't work well with the altitude we've had to buy a keurig pretty much every couple years because they go out and it's understanding that the system just the pump or whatever is the mechanism in there is just not really working well with the Keurig. I feel like that is an attest to even our own bodies and understanding what is happening with this altitude. If you are a sports enthusiast, you will know that Denver is a great sports town. Um, not only because they have a really fantastic beer selection, I mean, Coors is here, the brewery's here, 
Um, the Budweiser Clydesdales are actually here. It's freaking amazing. You have the Denver Broncos, you have the Avalanche, which is the hockey team. You have the Colorado Rockies, which is the baseball team. Even if you're not a, like if that's not your home team, you will still find the support of other sports enthusiasts. I know that they really, really love the Broncos. Like that is the home team. Obviously Broncos Stadium is right here in downtown Denver. So is the Coors Field, which is the Rocky Stadium. I am obviously, I am not a Rockies fan, but we go there all the time because I am a Dodgers fan. Yes, I'm from California, so I am a Dodgers fan, but I love going to Rockies games. Having that experience, like it's not really about the team. <laughs> It's not really about the team per se, but I will go to a Rockies game even if the Dodgers aren't playing. The culture, like they have parades, they have all these things that wrap around all the sports teams that are going on and making those experiences with the family. Denver can be a really great place to live and because it has so much diversity, because it has so many options, there's so many outlining cities, there's so many outlining communities, it's literally looking into what is going to work for you in your situation or what you are looking for, what kind of experience are you wanting to have. If you're wanting to have the city life or do you want to have some space do you need to be in a suburb what kind of suburb are you worried about school districts is that something that is on the top of your mind or in your forefront the right area depends on what you are wanting don't forget even if you're moving because of a job transfer there are so many options there's so so many freeways. Being a relocation professional, I have helped so many clients come out here and they're like, you know what? I work literally in the heart of Denver, but I don't want to live in the fast city paced life. Like I need this and this and this. And we've been able to find them the certain communities, the certain areas that give them the experience that they are wanting to where the commute is not horrendous and it still works within their family dynamics. And that is it for today's video. It's literally just to help you kind of think and prepare. Don't forget all my information is linked in the description box below and it's right here on the screen as always. It's just to help you guys figure out and maybe start getting the wheels turning on what are the things that need to work for you and getting with your professionals, getting your team in order. I know I've talked about this before, but getting those team professionals, getting your lender, getting your realtor, everybody who's on board with whatever you need to do for the move and getting ahead of the game so that you know what to expect when you're coming. Keeping everybody on your team on the same page is another thing that keeps you moving in the right direction. I hope this video was really helpful. I hope it was informative. And if I don't see you guys around Denver, I'll definitely see you on my next video. Bye.